Well, all right, we got the new biggest heck job I've ever seen in my life. The game is Arkansas State versus NIU, and if you were wondering, this was actually a gem of the game, if you had the pleasure to see it, all right? Northern Illinois comes in hotter than the first bite of pizza that inevitably burns your mouth. Beautiful fake field goal puts them up two touchdowns on Arkansas State, but then A-State realizes they've got Mr. Zvadamatic himself, and they use him to claw their way back into a one-score game. And if you think that's spicier than a bottle of Thai chili, let me tell you what, I hope you like defense because we're going to grind to a halt and cut to the literal last minute of the fourth quarter, and it's like stepping out of a broken time machine, meaning that absolutely nothing has changed, despite what you may have thought. But what's about to change is this gritty run after a catch is going to put the Red Wolves within two points where they don't get the two-point conversion, meaning it is onside time. Which, saying all that, just to quickly get you caught up into everything that's happened up to this point. So then, the onside is nothing crazily smart, but the ball skips into the arms of the Husky, bounces off his chest, and is fallen on by the coverage team, giving the ball back with a minute and a half to go to try to win this game but wait there's a flag it was called an offside on the kicking team, and this isn't one of those situations where you get into a Patrick Mahomes asking for his warning. Every single person in that stadium is asking where the damn offsides is. I mean, if we looked and looked and looked, and there's nothing that stands out, and I have one idea, okay? And if we do an um actually moment and check the rulebook, it states that you are offsides if one or more players, not the kicker or holder, are not behind the restraining line when the ball is kicked. And if we look at the angle, clearly there's not a single toe beyond the restraining line, which is as a rule of thumb how most people are taught to judge this by is whether you step across that line or not. However, it potentially could be the case where one of the heads has breached the line at the time of the kick, which if this is the ruling being made, I want heads to roll. Under no circumstances in a game like this, in a moment like this, should you ever make this call as a referee where the kicking team has exactly four atoms past the restraining line for this play to get reversed. I have literally never seen an offsides get called on something more ticky tacky than this if that's the logic that they're using. If I was an NIU fan, I would even be mad at this call because hey, it bounced off our guy's chest and whether he had a pinky nail past the line or not, we messed that playoff and should have to go play defense to cover for it. I am just sick to my stomach watching this. It's completely unacceptable. This needs to be at the very least investigated because this should never be called in a situation like this ever. I don't see anybody really offsides. Are we, I mean, are we talking about a thumbnail? 